a promise made by Chinese Premier Li Keqiang to the National People's Congress, the top legislature's annual assembly. We will improve mechanisms for direct reporting and early warning for infectious diseases and ensure the prompt, open, and transparent release of epidemic information. With that, NPC Deputy Zhang Boli saw part of his motion coincide with the government's working plan. He wrote a motion to amend China's law of infectious disease prevention and control for reporting Category A infections. Previously, the law said people should report to the State Council's Health Department, which is the National Health Commission. I added the clause directly to the State Council. A quicker report can let the central leadership know more promptly, make decisions faster, and set good determination for a better response nationwide. After the SARS outbreak in 2003, China made or amended a series of laws and regulations dealing with health crisis. There are regulations specifying indirect reporting procedures through levels, or direct reporting to the national CDC, but nothing mentioned by law yet. Actually, in China, we do have some hospital-based national epidemic reporting system, which plays a very important role in the containment of the coronavirus epidemic. But I think the system needs to be updated with advanced digital techniques evolving its design operation to ensure validity and efficiency. Classic manual copywriting should be no longer used. Some deputies believe not only the reporting system, but also the whole public health information system needs an overall lift. We need to complete a more sufficient information system with big data, ensure continuous collection of a whole country, precise analysis and explanation of the data, and inform those authorized immediately, so that the data must be qualified as much as possible, as uh, comprehensive, without isolated corner, including not only medical information, but non-medical information potentially related to the epidemic. In fact, China's law on infectious disease prevention and control provides that any organization and individual has an obligation to report infectious diseases. However, Professor Wang Chengguang of Tsinghua University says it is not clear which agency is authorized to release that. There are different expressions in China's law on infectious disease prevention and control and the law on response to emergencies. The first says provincial governments and the central government's health department have the right to release. The later says local governments above county level are authorized to release. This difference was also noted by the NPC, as it vowed to make or amend over 30 laws in the public health sector. Lawmakers and political advisors are discussing how to make relevant laws more consistent, or even suggesting a new law on public health. As the public health system is being improved, we need to formulate laws. When new epidemics come along in the future, we can do better. We want this time, but with certain costs. We should be prepared to minimize the costs. China has formed a rather complete, although imperfect, legal framework for handling a health crisis. The government says it will always put life and health above everything else. That's the principle in dealing with COVID-19. It's also a concept written in the country's law on promotion of basic medical and health care, which will take effect in June. Wu Guoxiu, CGTN, Beijing.